Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this reading, I am divining through mini crystals here and then I will be drawing out cards from the Mermaid Tarot deck. Uh, the setup is a little bit different um, as I am still traveling. So, just to let you know. Alright, let's begin. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Lots of temptations around you, something that feels very very tempting to do and there's something that kind of holds you back perhaps it's not the right thing the right, or the right time it feels like it's it's a moment thing um you're trusting your gut your intuition a lot more you're using this it's becoming a very strong asset of your strong skill and yes you absolutely do have what it takes for the that, that message just came through for those of you that have been um, feeling the opposite of that. You absolutely do have what it takes. And remember, if you're going into a meeting, an interview or something, you know, you hold the energy. You go in and make those heads turn. <laughs> leave, you, uh, something here, Scorpio, shows that you leave a lasting um, uh, impression on 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 people. Hmm. There is a very strong emotional connection that I see here, that has been growing for quite some time. Two lovebirds, or not? You know, for for those that you're not in a connection, it could just. I mean, a kind of love connection. This could be a, a parent, a child anything like that but there is such good progress is what I'm seeing and for some reason they kind of like held back to show how they really feel but slowly slowly it's starting to unravel and they're starting to open up here for some I see there could be an engagement somewhere hmm. or a friend of yours or something There is um, a lot of energy here of you taking charge. And I do get for some of you, it could be last minute and at work, if you're not your own boss, if, you, if you're not a boss, um, at work, the boss or somebody um, gives you like it's something exciting to do as, as like uh, they're watching you. And they want to see exactly how you react, what you do with it. Because I see a lot of winning energy here for you, Scorpio. But you must learn to trust your gut, trust your intuition. Because it does, what I see here, speak out loud sometimes. But I know there's sometimes a lot of chaos around. So it's not always the easiest to tune into. But you're getting there. It does also, you know, I get the song, Don't Stop Believing. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's there. Well, because of the, of literally, exactly that. Don't Stop Believing. Just because you've hit a brick wall or something, but it's like, you know, you may not realize this, Scorpio, but you bring a lot of good people together. You know, like, there's, you are very, very good at creating a family environment just with friends. And they need you more than you need them as well, by the way. You know, there's something here that perhaps you took a step back because you thought you were being, um, you can let me know in the comments, it, being too, um, oh gosh, what do I want to say? I'm sorry. There is, you, you, you bring people together. You have this warmth. Oh, like taking a step back is what I wanted to say. You know, but there is there is warmth around here. There is trust. There is... And, and a lot of the signs had a, this kind of strong, loving energy. And, in, you know, you definitely have that as well. Somebody's coming in with some good news and it's going to um, make you feel a lot better. There is this release this relief because I do get there's lots of tension here where you've been tensed up so 
something about a property you're getting on the property ladder as well it, it shows that soon that's happening if you have everything laid out for you okay let's see what the cards have for you the two of ones the lovers card and the king of ones oh, wow look at that mm. two of ones the lovers and the king of ones Oh, I love this. It's very much in your own hands. Scorpio, all of this is very much in your own hands. And I do see you counting your blessings. You know, you see that these opportunities arise and you're waiting for the right moment. Here, he is looking at the smoke from the volcano, ready to speak truth. You know, and for you, it's, it's the whole universe. There is something that is a lot larger than you can see, for sure. The lover's card, sorry, I feel like I'm losing my voice, um, signifies also um, signing contracts, something here that is binding you for quite some time. But there is a release, I think uh, this could be something specific, releasing of a contract of some kind and entering a new one. Um, and in terms of love, of connection, it's like, it, it definitely does say now is the best time to accept, to learn. And for some of you, you could be moving with someone that is very harmonious. And the King of Wands, it, you are being shown an opportunity that could be a little bit further away from your, your home or the area that you know. Just this card. And the Ace of Swords, wow. Wow. Things are starting to really pay off for you energetically, spiritually, and you're going to see it, feel it. And in terms of um, people are, are around you that, that I, I get two-faced. Somebody could be two-faced around you, but very, very quickly and sharply next to you, you have the ace of swords that comes through to protect you they will all be scared of this ace of swords of course not necessarily a real one but you know mm. karmic um, energy here is balancing out as well for you guys for all of you it's really balancing out and and you've got to understand a lot more as well once you get there what it, unless it's already there Hmm. There is a kinship or friendship that you um, will be holding on to. I mean, this I, I see some some friendship that um, could be a lifelong friendship. You have their back; they have your back. The six of cups. And the Six of Cups we get. A lot of them, um, you know what I'm seeing here is that you are attracting um, interesting people, people that you can have a lot of fun with. And it's like you're looking around, you're like, oh my gosh, where has my tribe been this whole time? <laughs> That's what I get here with Six of Cups. And a lot of nostalgia and thinking about the past, reflecting of some uh, possibly recent experiences that you've had. But again, good news is coming to you. Somebody is coming in with good news. I absolutely love this for you. Thank you, Scorpio, so very much. I truly hope uh, that this was helpful. Please do let me know. I love you all. Do take care. And until next time.